Alright guys, so welcome back once again. If you're someone new to my channel, my name is Niklesh and I live here in Berlin. Today I'm here to talk about mechatronics as a profession. I can talk to you from my own experience. I have a lot of friends, I wouldn't say a lot of friends, but a good number of friends who work in the space of mechatronics as an engineer. And I can bet you one thing for sure today, in this space of engineering, mechatronics engineers are the most valuable assets companies look for. So in past few years, I have seen students who come and study masters here in the space of mechatronics. They come from different disciplines because this is a multidisciplinary uh, industry and department. And I've seen people coming from mechanical engineering, computer engineering, uh, telecommunication engineering, electronics, systems engineering, controls engineering into a centralized discipline while keeping the core mechanical engineering as a background. Also, one thing I've seen here in Germany with a lot of students is they come from different areas. Uh, for example, mechanical engineer, computer science, uh, electronics, telecommunication engineer, structural engineering. So before we begin, there is a Google form in the description of this video. You can jump onto that and fill in your details. We'll stay in touch. We'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support, whether it's this year, 2022 or for next year, 2023. If some of you are interested to have this presentation, I'll uh, give it in the description or I'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a Google form. If you're interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile, people also, you know, very often book a personal appointment with me. So you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment. I've been doing this long enough now for a little over four or five years now. And I've seen thousands of students and, and I'm happy to tell you that I've been part of their success story. And exactly by doing that, mentorship was actually born. Uh, I learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts. And uh, that's how I've designed my 12 months of program. You can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description, I'm going to drop a link there. This mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in India and it only stops here in Germany when you're on a part-time job. So that's how the whole chapters are designed. Some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here, but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg. It goes really, really deep. So to begin with, if you're someone who is currently studying, let's say in X university, okay, and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per German database, which is called as Anabin. Basically, in a nutshell, Anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's, what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in India, let's say, for example, to bachelor's here in Germany in mechanical. And what you have to see is your university has something called as H+. So I'll quickly show you how you can check your university, whether it's approved by Anabin or not. Just go on Google and type anabin.de. When you're here, go to the first link right here and go to institution. Okay. Go to search. Let me just switch this for you in English. Oh, my selection, I think it's there from previously. So it's selected India. In your case, you have to open country selection and just press I and it will show India or a list of countries with I. Confirm. Place where in India? Let's say I want to check Mumbai. I'm going to go and type M and then say uh, Mumbai Maharashtra. So this is where you will see Amity University, Mumbai. Uh, it's a private university and it's H+. That means it's approved. And likewise, you have to go and look for your university. You can change the city name to something else, wherever you come from, you know. And then uh, let's say Mangalore, you can see it right here. Okay. So for example, this university, it's H-. Now that this university is H-, this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from Anabin. And there's an altogether different process, which I don't want to get into right now. But yes, make sure that your university is H+. List of documents, what you need to apply in a university, which is uh, right here. Nine things, uh, primarily. Bachelor's degree, transcripts for all eight semesters, consolidated mark sheets. Or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester, then provisional degree. 
you need sop let's say you are applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers uh cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15 sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15 so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you will have to check on the course website one of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, highest cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it So in Nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and make this on google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what i personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this so you know in this case it's computational engineering you can see that how many semesters the program is of what is the deadline does it require you to have german or not does it require you to have ielts or not uh what is the prerequisite have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need what gpa what german gpa does it require like for example 2.5 first class with distinction ects requirement if it's 210 or 180 if it requires sop or not if it's yes then just type yes lor then how many lors if you have given test AS or GRE what has been your score here mode of application is it via uni assist or is it via direct portal you know then the the course website as you can see it's right here it's displaying out and if you have any email id of the course coordinator this is the typical format i like to follow here it has proven to be very successful for last so many years i have used this format with different students let's move on from here So on this slide you can see two things one is there is a link which is embedded here so if you press this will take you directly onto dard website where there are list of mechatronics universities so this part where you see the list of colleges these are the places where my friends are studying so that's why i wrote down quickly but if you want a elaborative 
uh, English taught program because if you see it clearly here, there are a lot of courses here in German. Uh, my friends are studying in German taught program and uh, mechatronics. If you want to shortlist English taught programs, then just directly click here on this link once you have presentation with you, which I will put it in the description of this video. So let me just quickly click here and take you to that location. So when you click that link, this is where you're going to land. There's a total of 57 results. So we have selected masters in mechatronics, English taught program and fees up to 500 euros per semester and for winter intake. So you can easily use this for 2022 this year. Uh, as I said in my introduction, people from mechanical uh, instrumentation, um, computer science, electronics, telecommunication, if you're from any of these areas, you can very well apply for uh, mechatronics engineer here as a master's. So you have to go into individual cards and check for yourself. So for example, let's check in Leibniz University at Hanover. Uh, it's an English taught program, four semester, uh, 31st May is the deadline. You go into the requirements section and this is what they need. The application has to go via this place. So likewise, the way I showed you how you have to put all of this in your Excel sheet. So make sure you do that. So let's move on from the university list to next thing, which is specializations in mechatronics. So the things what you see right here on the screen, I spoke to my friends who are currently studying mechatronics in Germany. They said that these are the subjects, what they are studying. You could specialize yourself and go really deep into uh, one of these areas. So for example, robotics and AI very very big topic here in germany and uh, there's a wide variety of jobs available once you specialize yourself into robotics in ai or uh, you can go into mechatronics also focuses on uh, computer science and engineering uh, electronics engineering fundamentals of mechanical engineering because these are the main core fundamentals of mechatronics uh, machine vision very big topic medical mechatronics very big topic so what I'm trying to say is you can specialize yourself into each of these areas. In fact, you can start working on them from your second or third semester itself. Write your thesis within the same topic. And then eventually, I'm pretty sure you will be offered a full-time job as well in this same area, wherever you've worked for the last two or three years. So career opportunities which are available for you after you graduate as a mechatronics engineer is automation and robotics. I told you the big, big, big topic. Sensing and controlling system, designs of sub- Systems for automotive engineering, medical mechatronics, uh, transportation and uh, vehicular systems, uh, machine vision, expert systems and AI, industrial electronics and consumer products, structural dynamic systems, di diagnostic uh, reliability techniques. So these are the highlights, but I'm pretty sure there is much more options when you graduate as a mechatronics engineer. Now talking about salary, what I want you to do is there is a link which is embedded here. Click that, it will take you to a website, which I'll show you now. So when you press that link, this is where you will land. Um, I've already fed here mechatronics. And uh, this is a place where you're supposed to put a city. So let's say we, we're gonna put Frankfurt. So we're gonna basically see job in Frankfurt. If I was to get a job in Frankfurt as a mechatronics engineer, how much salary can I expect per month and then annually? So what you see here is the scale what they've given uh, for a starting. You can expect 2,900 euros per month minimum to all the way 3,800 euros per month. The th good thing about this website is if you scroll down, they will show you the job openings as well and when they were posted and where are they located. Yeah, and the company name is of course mentioned here. So technical writer, uh, R&D engineer, mechatronics, drive technology, professional global category management, mechatronics, locations have, are also written here salaries per month is written here in fact you can just change this to per year and you can check that as well so here also we can so the moment i change from here everything changes so per year per month make sure that to get a job here in this country at least in your space you need to speak pretty good german so start working on them and then eventually you'll land into one of the jobs so two things you got to take care of absolutely right one is you have to be technically very strong. Second, you need to speak German at least B2 level. We are on the last slide. If you want to get enrolled for the program, you can just click right here. Uh, as I said, you can have this PDF for yourself and uh, yeah, get in touch with us. We'll be happy to help you out. So yeah, if you have made it till here, thank you so much for tuning in. Now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents, go ahead and apply. 
whether or not you want our help but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh because that's where a lot of people make mistake so having said that thank you so much and uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and i'm going to see you guys next time bye bye